All right, I wanted to make a quick video on how to take the analytic approach to Google or YouTube, even Blogger if you want to, and I'll make a video on that later on. But, um, and you can look right here, I have my Twitter and my Blogger already linked up. Like I told you, you're gonna wanna link everything up together. Um, you know, make it all flow together. But really, the analytic part of YouTube. Go here in the corner of your page, and I'll show you where you put the code in, but you're gonna go to the gear in the corner. Uh, look for view additional. I forgot it there. I go to the advanced tab, and right there. Right there at the bottom, they have the actual uh, area where you put the analytic code in. Um, now, we'll go over, you can go to Google and look it up real quick if you have to but when you get there should be pretty quick but do it from there and really the I mean you probably already know from looking it up but what they do they'll tell you you know uh, how long they're watching it for where who what kind of like a computer what kind of computer a Mac or a regular one um, I like it I like it. Um, it took me a while to really figure out how to get into it and in and figure out how to find out, find out what to do with it. But I kind of know now, and when you kind of get into it, you actually have fun with it. You can download the app too. But let me go ahead and get all the information in here. I would go back here um, and get your information from your actual YouTube page. Copy it and put it in. Oop, no, put it there. And then. There we go. And put in the category entertainment. making sure there but um look we're all good get tracking ID yep mm -hmm. I've already read all that from my old one and you're pretty much done from there uh, you type in all your information and pretty much you know what you want it to be called and then they give you a tracking ID now <clears throat> you have to take the tracking ID here from here go back to your page and like I told you go to that area go to the wheel the gear view additional and then right there put that tracking ID in and you're pretty much done you're gonna have to wait a while like a day or two before they actually track any information but I would recommend downloading the app and then uh, typing your information in there and then getting into it that way you have all the tracking ID and then uh, I've, I've actually added my AdWord account into here too I'll go back and do a video on how to do AdWord but if you're looking to pay for an ad <clears throat> for your page you can all you can pay for an ad but yeah you put the code in there make sure you get it all taken care of and then wait a couple wait wait a few <laughs> wait if I don't know it might it might it might go within the hour but I mean you're gonna wait a little bit and then it should give you your information but go back to your page and push your page push whatever you gotta push but 
you should get track traffic information in there and really take advantage of it I'll make another video on how to read all the information um, that took me a while too but you should be fine doing it the way I did it and then you know you can get the analytic code for uh, blogger or whatever all right thank you have a good one